when I first started personal training, I came in, uh, came into the, the company I came into at the time, yeah. uh, didn't offer gym floor hours. Um, so you came in as a PT, you could only PT the membership or the members and you had to come into that pool of people and you only had money if you delivered sessions. So I had to make that work. So I came in and I could have just bumbled around hoping and, you know, and instead I, you know, one of the behavior goals that I set straight away was like, I'm going to say hello to everybody. Everybody I see, I'm going to make eye contact, say hello, a eye contact, say hello, everybody. I'm going to make friends with everybody in the workplace. I'm going to go speak to the cleaners, bar staff, reception, because first of all, I want everybody to know me. That's the first step, right? So everyone's got to know you. So literally say hello to everybody, talk to all the staff so they talk to members about you. So that's the first thing I did. So they were my behavior goals. And then I thought, right, I need to get people to trust me or like me. So then, you know, I'd always be polite, always show an interest. Um, so that was the next behavior was I'll say hello and then I then ask them about their training. You're obviously in the gym, really easy thing to talk about is training. <laughs> so that's what I would do. So I would do that all the time and then eventually would kind of build up. And then I went a step further where I was like, right, okay, well, that's great. But now I need to start setting some outcome goals on the back of those behaviors. So therefore what I need to do is, is start booking tasters. Because when you book tasters, you can then get signups. So I would go, right, well, how many clients do I want? So I say five. After a while, I learned that to get a sign up, I had to do two tasters. Yeah. So therefore I was like, right, well, I need 10 tasters. And then after a while, I was able to backwards engineer that and go, right, how many conversations do I need to have to to get a taster? I don't know, let's just say two again. Yeah. So now I need to have 20 conversations to get 10 tasters to get five clients. So then what I would do is every single hour in the gym, I would break that down across a day. So per day, I want to have, I want to book five tasters per day. So then I go, right, so I need this many conversations. I mean, if uh, this many hours, each hour I'm going to break that down, I wouldn't leave the gym floor until I had those conversations. And they, that was how I structured it. And that was, I was quite successful as a result. Um, but that was basically me just going, right, setting some behaviors and then sort of driving them towards an outcome. Um, and that applies to everything. Yeah, goals are huge, mate. Goals yeah. are, are if, if, you don't have, if, if you're watching this now and you don't have a goal, just go and fucking write one. You know, go and make one, go and do one, whether it's weight loss, whether it's more money, like you said, whether it's starting jujitsu, whether it's going, being a better dad, better person, stop drinking, whatever it is that's in your life that you know, we all know what the fucking problem is as well. If we're fucking honest with ourselves, we all know what the fucking problem is, you know? Um, just face it and, and make a goal to either get rid of that problem or to navigate around the problem, you know, so you can have a better life, even if you're still doing those things sometimes. Yeah. You know? Yeah, 100%. I think a really good goal would be to watch this podcast every week. That's it. Once Mon a week, watch podcast. Monday night at seven. <laughs>